all the disturbing noises. Well, not all the time, but... You know, they hiss and stuff. Yep. Oh, I almost missed that one. Oh, look, it's boss time. There's something else in there. Something big. Ooh. Let's fight this big thing. It's a boss with music. Music. But, yeah. Turn it up. It's not even that hard. It's big, it's not sexy, and it doesn't hurt much. Let's just kill it with whatever we've got. Oh, wrong one. It'll soon be dead. Oh. Are you sure on normal difficulty? Uh, yeah, I think we are. Look at my health. Oops. Uh oh. Alright, go away. Oh, yay! Yeah, block your ears from the screen. And the explosion. Now it's over, we can turn the music down. And the game back up. Yeah, we can. And we better get some health before we go and turn that thingy off. Ugly bastard. I think there's help around here, never mind. We're only going back to the ship. We'll get full help there anyway. I got a thing. It looks like a chest plate of armor type stuff. Look, I'm back out already. Teleportation! Atlantis TCA I don't know what that's all about. Don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, anyway. Oh. Oh. Lol. It said my frames per second was 2009 for a bit. Oh, for a second. When I wasn't recording, anyway. Oh look, I'm even in the ship. We're back. Oh, I can just tell I'm out of it today. The sector commander is on hyperlink. Yeah, you walk towards to me. You. you walk towards me. That's all. I kill a million arachnids, recover an alien artifact, and this is all the thanks I get? Give me some sex. Congratulations, you're a hero. Let's go. Thanks! Thanks. Give me some, give me some wiggle. There's some lovely wiggle going on there. And some lovely, lovely butt shine. Let's just get on with it. We don't... Wait. No, no, it's not <coughs> like that. She treats me like scum. 
Who does? A long time ago, maybe. Because they're talking about stuff. Hi, person. The main character has little hair. The main character has little hair. Good work recovering the artifact, John. So does he. Let me give you some history. A little over a year ago, our Axon Corporation discovered two of these artifacts. I don't and set really up labs care. On Hill and Janus to study them. Janus. What do these things do? I guess they're going to Janus next. No one knows. We know they're virtually indestructible, and that they emit energy in a way we haven't begun to understand. Virtually, huh? How many of them are there? Four. Seven. Oh! Buried on different planets for millions of years. Seven missions. Unfortunately, <laughs> the Izanagi and Leandri corporations caught on and have started massive hunts on their own. Oh. How do the Scar fit? Don't know. They know we want them, so they want them too. They, they're horny. So what comes next? You may yet get your wish, John. Oh. General Drexler is temporarily recommissioning your ship as a Marine Corvette. Corvette. As of now, you and your crew are all temporarily restored to your former ranks. I'd rather be a Marine Ferrari. Permanent? Perhaps. I've been breveted to the Marines as well. What's breveted? And your orders will come through me. What's breveted? Afterwards, I'll go back to the TCA. What's the TCA? But you might be in for good. What's good? Oh. I've already briefed Ida on your next destination. Oh. Good luck, John. Did he say Anya? And good hunting. Thanks. Well, I guess we're going to our next destination already. Don't get a break, do I? Yes. No, I don't. Briefing. Now, what can you tell me about Asheron? No, what can you tell me about them? Oh! I'm a ghost. Or she's a ghost. Either way, no sex. Unless we're both ghosts. Then we can have ghost sex. Oh! Asheron oh. is the strangest planet in the sector. It's got it's a hair. It's class world orbiting the star NC-867. And it's got hair on it. What's interesting is that the surface of the planet is covered by a single gigantic organism that With has hair. breathing tubes the size of subway tunnels and spores as big as starships. And hair. Don't forget the hair. The Izanagi Corporation has been methodically killing this creature as they terraform the planet. They've built a ring of giant chemical reactors to convert the atmosphere to Earth's standard oxygen-nitrogen levels, oh, which the organism doesn't seem to tolerate. Because it's got hair. I've pulled some images from a marine scout probe. Let's see the hair. No, oh, there's no hair there. Show us some hair. You can kind of see hair there, but not much. No. Oh, is that it? No? Fine, I'll go down there myself. All terraforming efforts stopped. Oh. And the Izanagi forces converged on a single dig site. We believe they have found an artifact and are about to take it off world. Oh. We are cloaking in one day ahead of a marine attack force. Our mission is to gather intel only. Do not get close enough to be detected. I will. Do not engage in combat. I will. The station is guarded by Izanagi ghost warriors. Oh no! No love for us at all. Your drop ship will land about here. Here? Whoa. I'll land my dropship here. Oh! Oh, that's the best. You can take this road up to the facility, and from there you'll be on your own. Good. Okay, bye. Be careful, John. I've asked Isaac to give you my pistol, Grace. I want it. She and I have been through a lot together, and I'd feel better knowing you have her down there to back you up. I'll have you down Isaac here. Isaac is ready for you, and Iban has some questions. Oh. If you haven't spoken with him yet, you can probably find him on the bridge. I can find him there. I can find him there. Bye. Open the door. Hi. You have some questions, Bob? I am very confusing. You what are. are you confused about? All these corporations, mercenary forces, alien races. I am mixing them <sighs> over. Can't oh. tell the players without a program, eh? Okay. Let me give you some quick background on each of them. Ah. Uh. Done. All right, let's hear about the Scar. The Scar are a power-hungry race who have been trying to expand into this sector of space. Normally, their highly tribal social structure prevents them from working together. But now... But recently, we've seen unusual examples of cooperation between the clans, which can only spell trouble for us. Damn straight. Their warriors are all highly independent, intelligent, and very dangerous fighters. Indeed. Okay, we're done. Bye. Don't care. Read a book or something.